Old school gymnasium has been sitting vacant for decades, but it will soon be put to good use. A Phoenix school district is planning on selling the property off to build some affordable housing. It's a big time problem across the valley. Families struggling to find an affordable place to live. And that's having a direct impact on local schools, especially those in lower income communities. I've been speaking to some families who uh, were losing their mobile home. Cecilia Maez is superintendent of the Alhambra Elementary School District in Phoenix, which has seen enrollment drop more than 30% over the past 10 years. It becomes very difficult when our students are stressing about making sure they have a roof over their head. Many of our families have come to us for help because they've shared uh, their rent has increased significantly, they're unable to afford it anymore, and they just don't know where to go. In an effort to attract more students while helping struggling families, the Alhambra School District has decided to do something bold. The district is teaming up with the city of Phoenix to sell this three-acre plot of land it doesn't use anymore. The property off 38th Avenue and Grand will be used to build 60 to 240 affordable apartments. Just last year, Phoenix's Isaac School District sold off land it doesn't use off 31st Avenue and McDowell. Construction is underway to build 96 affordable housing units. We are trying to get the word out about it. It's Krista it's Severns is communications director with Phoenix IDA, a nonprofit that's been working with school districts and the city to make these deals possible. We have school districts that need money. We have school districts that want to keep their enrollment up and we need housing. So this is a program that helps both. According to state law, school districts can only sell property to a city or state if it serves a public purpose and building more affordable housing certainly qualifies. We have more children that have been identified as homeless uh, now in our schools than we've ever had. Just trying to do our part to help uh, families stay where they are or stay in a good community and, and be able to attend the schools that are nearby. There's no exact timeline for when this property will be sold and converted. The hope is families living in this area will have a new housing option by the end of next year. In Phoenix, Jason Berry for Arizona's Family.